Now? Go ahead. I, I think what we'll do is... If this isn't even on. You, you got a good point. Hi, it's Hayden, and um, I'm going to be doing rainbow loom bracelets. Um, I'm going to make two different ones. First, I have the single chain. The second one I have is um, the fishtail. Those are the two different ones I'm going to be making. So this is called the rainbow loom. It's like a tool that you like need to have if you're going to do the single chain. The main step you need for every bracelet that you make is to pick out your colors. I think I'm going to use pink, white, and then blue. You're going to connect this to this? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm just going to keep going with my pattern until I get to the very end. And now that I'm at the, I'm close to the end, this last one I'm gonna do the cross over my blue. But at this very last one, you're gonna flip this around so that the arrow is pointing towards you. Then you're gonna take another colored band and you're just gonna kinda make a figure eight pattern, sort not a pattern, but a figure eight. And then you're just gonna put it over. And now that's where this tool comes in. Try to go behind the the white and pick up the pink and loop it over it but see how I just missed it that's really when it this tool comes in really helpful hold it and then loop it and just put it over like it never happened So now that I've got to the end, I'm at this last pink one. You're gonna take what's called a C-clip. These are all my C-clips, I just keep it in this container. I'm gonna use the U-shaped one, cause I like that one. And you're gonna take the C-clip and attach it to the rubber band so that it fits in. And then I like to just keep this last one on and attach it to the C-clip. And then this is the finished single, single chain. Can you make us a white and pink one? Sure. So I'm just going to repeat what I did the first time. And just going to keep crisscrossing it. Okay, now I'm at the end, and I'm going to turn this red arrow right under there, and to make it face towards me. And then I'm going to take my rubber band, just make another figure eight, and then loop it around like a circle. And use my hook, and do the same thing we did the first time, and go in then out like this and then you pull it over and then you repeat it until you get to the end and if some of the rubber bands are too high and you think they're going to fall off just like push them down a bit lower so that you don't hold the risk of them coming off and then having to do the bracelet over again. Okay, now I'm at the end again. And this time I'm gonna take an S clip. Well, I think it looks like an S. And I'm just going to turn this arrow that way so that it's facing the opposite side of me. And then I'm just going to attach it here and start pulling this 
all the way off. And then now I'm at the end and I take it off and attach it. And then here's another single chain. Now let's start the fish tail. So you don't need this. Orange, yellow. We're gonna take our first color and we're gonna put it on the cap of the hook. And, bef and we're just gonna go on this, but we're gonna cross it before we go on the other side, like that. And then you're gonna take your second color and you just go straight forward without crossing. And then you're gonna do that same thing without crossing on the third one. Then you're gonna take your hook and on the outside, you're gonna loop it like that. And on the other side. And what I like to do, before I start doing it again, I like to add a C-clip. I like to just put it here, um, so then I don't have to do it at the end. And then, with the orange, if you're doing a pattern, um, you're gonna take that color that you just looped and you're gonna put it back on. And from now on, you're not gonna do any crosses. You're just gonna keep going straight forward um, without a cross. This is it um, so far. Um, but then I'm just gonna add my purple on. And I'm gonna loop it from the outside, not the inside, like the single chain. And every time you loop another one, you wanna pull it so that it's tight. And I'm gonna take my yellow. And loop it. and stretch it. Then you're just gonna keep repeating this step and you're gonna want to keep measuring your wrist to see if the bracelet will fit. And then you're just gonna keep doing this until it fits. So this is the pattern, well, the design you're gonna get here You're just gonna take these and loop them over like you would usually do. And then once you're at the last color, you're gonna loop it and then add it to your sequel. This is a fishtail. So you have more advanced and simpler. Thank you for watching my how to. I hope you try this. Bye. <laughs> Great job, Hayden. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you for watching my how to. I hope you try this. It's super fun. <laughs> <laughs> nice.